jQuery, still one of the most popular libraries on the internet when it comes to JavaScript development. Some of you might hate it, some of you might hate it even more. I'm not one of them. I use this library for a very, very long time and I still am in some cases because, you know, I'm a WordPress developer. I'm sort of forced to do this. Until very recently, uh, jQuery is no longer mandatory to enqueue on the front end of the, any WordPress website, which is very good because nowadays JavaScript native functions can do almost the same thing. And by almost, I mean they almost can, but it's not that convenient. See, jQuery has a very interesting syntax. If you go to their homepage and scroll down, then you see that this is like, wow. And if you use the jQuery, you can get used to this very, very quickly. Let me just zoom in. So jQuery is as many times associated with this dollar sign. And this dollar sign is basically a variation of document query selector all when you select certain elements. So this is going to select all buttons uh, which have the class continue. So it's basically almost the same syntax. But the thing is that you can chain certain functions to that. And it's really, really handy. It makes DOM manipulation really, really easy. But since it was no longer mandatory on the on the WordPress front end. So I had to choose either I'm going to enqueue jQuery, which is mostly always enqueued, but I wanted to be independent from it. So I had to either rewrite everything in vanilla JavaScript, uh, which isn't the best idea because some of these things that jQuery does is it turns out to be a very, very, very long code. And one way or another, you are going to reach for a library to do so. I thought, I don't want to really touch all the code I've written. What if I made a replacement library, an alternative library to jQuery, which was made in modern JavaScript and was just this very, very lightweight, very limited version, only including the functions mostly I use. So I made this. It's called Domini. It's, it's a very simple, and if you check I don't know if you can see it. If you check, it's it's almost the same syntax. But compared to jQuery, this is extremely simple. jQuery has a lot more features and it's a lot more robust. This is written in modern ECMAScript. You know, this, there is no compatibility backwards. But if you want, you can download it from GitHub, build it with a different Webpack or Bebel configuration to make it into other ECMAScript versions. But right now this is built on, I think it's ES 2020 or 2016. I don't recall what, what I did, but you know, it's, it's almost, you get almost the same. And why is this good? In my case, the size was very, very important. So I have to either rework my code in vanilla, but then the size will have grown even bigger. There's certain things I need to resolve and they're very lengthy or make it this way and it turns out this way it was smaller so let, let's let's try to download this i don't know if i if i can how can i download this i haven't used this browser oh github actually shows the sizes so the whole library is 17.3 kilobytes this is including everything this is including everything if you just want the core you can just use the core it includes almost every feature in excluding these these ones this animate, highlight, serialize, viewport, and XHTTP, which in most cases is not even used. And then it's only 12 kilobytes. So it's, it's really not that big of a deal. And I've written some sort of documentation to like most methods are here, how to use them with examples and whatever, how to uh, implement here, here, how you can install the NPM or you can use like CDN, the, the unpackage, so you can directly add it to the to your site header. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because when I made it, it wasn't public, but I thought, well, why not? Why not? It, it would be just much better. Maybe someone is going to use it. Maybe someone just going to find some issues when I, which I can fix and maybe use it later. So if you are looking for a lightweight jQuery alternative, you can check out my library, Domini. It's uh, really, really easy to use. It includes most features that you might need for DOM manipulation. And and yeah, I think this is all I wanted to say. Oh, and you can contribute. If you want, you can open issues on the GitHub. Here's the GitHub. 
so you can have open issues, even pull requests if you did something. I'm more than happy to review it and maybe even incorporate it with new code. It's really not that big of a deal. Well, yeah, this is all I wanted to say. So make sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.